Okay, it is a new day and I am going to check if I can get this mole removed. You see this under, right under my eye, this little bump. I'm gonna go to Kibuka, which is like skin place. I guess they remove moles and they treat your skin and all that. I'm gonna see if they can get removed. We'll see what they say. Might be too close to the eye, they may say they can't take it out because it's too dangerous. That's what they said in Toronto. Um, so we'll see if they can take it out here. And uh, uh, kind of scary if they will take it out. Probably hurt a lot, but we'll see what they say. So they said I have to go to a hospital to get it removed because the mole is very deep and if they take it out it's gonna be like a crater so oh man I don't even know if I want to get it removed at a hospital anyways not enough time to go this trip since I'm leaving in a couple days so I'll have to get it when I come to Korea next time if I decide to get it I just got my ears cleaned uh, apparently this time my left ear didn't really have that much earwax but my right ear still had a lot so that was weird imbalanced but oh, feels good now just I can hear much better with my right ear Alrighty, that was uh, pretty interesting on my wrist. I shouldn't have moved. It hurt when I moved it. Apparently the needles can move, so... Oh well, I hope it's still okay. So apparently my wrist sprain, I should be resting my wrist for 12 weeks, and it's only been 7 weeks, so I need to rest another 5 weeks. Anyways, so I was gonna go hard at the gym when I got back, but it seems like I'll have to take it easy for another five weeks that's a long time anyways good to know that instead of injuring it yet again these look pretty good On my way to have dinner with a friend. I haven't seen this friend since 2016, so it's been like eight years. See that building way at the top? I think that's the tallest building in Korea. At least that's what I heard. This area is filled with restaurants and norebang, karaoke. I'm having yakochi for the second time. Lamb skewer. It's a cooking. You see this line right here? This strip of metal is actually a magnet. So it's uh, stuck. Whoops. Yeah, it's the sticks stick to it because it's metal and magnet. You take it off the skewer with chopsticks and then dip it in any of these. After Yankochi, now we are having some drinks with my friend from sixth grade, Jamin. <laughs> I finished meeting my friend and I'm heading home and this is written on the wall on the way home. Music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Pretty interesting. It is getting late, well almost 9 p.m. and now this tower is all lit up. At least the weather is cool. It is like, I don't know, 16 degrees Celsius. So, I'm not sweating as I'm walking uphill on the way home. Oh, I'm so glad that at least the weather's nice now. And I'm leaving in a couple days, so... It was great to see Jamini. It's been since 2018 since I saw him, so six years ago. I'll keep in touch with him, even when I'm in Toronto. 
These are the stairs shortcut home. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight on my phone in order to take the shortcut. Future Paul speaking here back in Toronto, Canada. That was the second last day of my Korea trip and the last day that I met all my friends because the very last day of my Korea trip I just spent with my dad. So it was great to see all my friends and Chemini at during dinner while we were having the yangkochi, the skewers, he was saying, oh, if, if there's one thing I gotta tell you, and I mean this 100%, learn to cook. You'll get married in two years. And I was like, I don't want to get married in two years, but learn to cook, eh? And he says, I'm 100% serious. Learn to cook. For him, he took cooking classes from Le Cordon Bleu, which is a internationally renowned French cooking class and he said through those cooking classes he subsequently gained a lot of weight because he was experimenting and trying eating different things and trying to cook them but regardless he said just learn to cook take my advice and learn to cook and I thought yeah that's that's actually great advice because cooking is like a daily essential skill and I should at least learn all the basics, the basics of how to cook simple dishes at the very minimum. So a few days ago, I signed up for cooking classes. Now, when I was first looking online, they were really pricey and there was only like one class for one dish. And I was like, I don't want that. I want like at least weekly cooking classes so that I learn all the basics and not just cook one dish, right? It's, I want to build this as a skill set. And so I asked Gemini, the Google AI, and it told me that community centers are a great affordable way to learn cooking. They have cooking classes. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So I looked up near me and community center in Markham has some cooking classes starting next week. So I signed up for two classes, one for world cooking class, which covers a variety of, <laughs> I didn't know this does that, uh, world cooking class, which covers a variety of cuisines across the world, and one on nutrition cooking class. Um, so I'll be learning about nutrition as well, although I've listened to quite a bit on nutrition for in terms of content, so I don't think I'm going to learn all that much new. It'll just be learning how to cook those things. So I'll keep you posted on my cooking journey, probably take some videos and photos at the end of my creation, probably not film during my cooking because there are going to be other people in the class. I'm not going to bring my tripod and film myself cooking with other people in the background. Um, so I'll probably just show you the finished products. but. It's directly in line with my catchphrase. So I will see you tomorrow in another Korea vlog, the last day in Korea before I head back to Toronto that I spent with my dad. 1% better every day, baby.